Hey there guys, welcome to the CoLab channel and welcome to the third video in the Modern JavaScript Crash Course and in this video we're going to be looking at one of the most important aspects of JavaScript and that is JavaScript variables. If you guys are new here and enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Now from doing your own research and looking at other tutorials, you've most likely heard the term variable when learning about JavaScript or pretty much any other programming language and that's because they are vital to the function of a programming language. Now what a variable is, is essentially just a named storage container for data so you can place data into these containers, give the container a name and then refer back to the data simply by naming that container. Now before you can actually name a variable it has to be declared and we can do this now with three different keywords and those three keywords are varlet and const. Now there is a difference between the three so before we dive into the differences let's just have a quick history lesson. Now when JavaScript was first created we can only declare variables with the var keyword and var held its glory for almost a decade. However in 2015 let and const were created and introduced which didn't immediately shake up the system. However slowly but surely and now in the present day let and const are predominantly used and var is not obsolete but generally considered as bad coding practice because of its disadvantages which we're going to be going over in this video. So now we have a little bit of knowledge regarding the history of the keywords. Let's now get into their specifics and how they differ. So we'll start off with the var keyword. So the var keyword can be reassigned, it can be redeclared, the initialization is optional, any globally scoped variables are added to the window and the var keyword is function scope. Now the let keyword does have similarities but it does differ slightly to the var keyword so it can be reassigned like the var keyword however it can't be redeclared. The initialization is optional however globally scoped variables are not added to the window and unlike var let is block scope. Now the const keyword is pretty much the complete opposite of the var keyword. It can't be reassigned, it cannot be redeclared the initialization is not optional and again like the let keyword globally scoped variables are not added to the window and const is block scoped. Now in regards to block scope which the let and const keywords are and function scope which the var keyword is I will speak about in just a moment but first I want to go over the other specifications regarding assignment, declaration, initialization and globally scoped variables and just show you guys these specifications in action. Alright guys, so we're inside of his code and as you can see we're inside our uh, JavaScript crash course folder and also inside our external JavaScript file and as you can see to our right here we've opened up live server so what I'm going to do is just open up the console so um, you can see the console here now what we're going to do is just go over some of the different specifications between the var, let and const keywords so in regards to their uh, reassignment, the redeclaration, um, the initialization of it being optional and globally scoped variables and then we'll talk about uh, block and function scoped so first we'll take a look at the var keyword. Now when you're using the var keyword, variables can be reassigned. So if I create a variable now with the var keyword, I'm just gonna name this uh, animal and I'm gonna give it the value of, let's say dog. So we now have a variable in place with the value of dog and all I wanna do is just log this into the console. So we log in the animal variable and as you can see, it gives us the value of dog. Now with the var keyword, what we can do is actually reassign this. So if I go underneath uh, this line here and I grab the animal variable and let's just change this to cat. If we now look at the uh, console, you can see we've reassigned it and now the value is no longer dog, it is now cat. Now as we saw in the slides, we can do the same thing with the let keyword. So if I just change the var to let, you can see we get the exact same outcome. So if I just uh, uncomment this, so initially it's assigned to dog, uncomment this back, you can see now we have cat. Now again, as we saw in the slide, um, this won't work with const. So let's just put in const here and see what it gives us. As you can see, we get an error. That's because with const, we can't reassign our variables. Now in regards to redeclaration, the var keyword, we can redeclare it as many times as we like. So we'll go underneath, well, let's just comment all this out first. We'll go underneath this comment and let's just create another variable with var. And for this one, we'll uh, give it the uh, name of year. And then let's just say 2021. And let's also log this. So log in the year. And as you can see, it's given us the value of 21, which we've assigned here. Now we can actually completely redeclare this. So instead of 21, let's do 22. You can see now the output in the console has given us this value here. So we've completely redeclared the variable with a var keyword. Now this is when the differences with the let and const keywords start to kick in. So let's just try the same thing here with let. So we'll just change these to let. As you can see, it's thrown us an error. And then of course with const, it will give us the exact same thing. So change this to const. And again, it will give us an error. That's because with the introduction of let and const, we can no longer redeclare our variables. 
Now in regards to initialization, when you're using the var keyword, variables can actually be declared with no initial value. And what this will do is actually just give us an output of undefined, which is a data type, which we will be going over in subsequent videos. But just to show you guys what I mean, I'm gonna comment all this out and go to this comment here. And I'm just gonna create another variable with var, but I'm not gonna assign it a value. So I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna name it car. And then I'll just uh, log this into the console. And as you can see, it's giving us the uh, data type of undefined, which again, I will be going over in the subsequent video. But what this is showing us here is that we've declared a variable of car. It doesn't point to any value. Later on, we can actually just add that value. So if we go underneath here and then say car equals, let's say Ferrari, then it's gonna give us the output of Ferrari and actually give us a value. Now again, the same thing applies with let. So if I just get rid of uh, the uh, value there and I just put in let, you see again, it'll give us an undefined. Now, if I try this with const, const as we saw in the slides is just the complete opposite of var it throws us an error and it's making sure that we assign a value to a variable now another difference that we saw in the slide is that globally scoped variables with var are added to the window object whereas variables created with the let and const keywords are not now when i mean globally scoped these are variables that are not inside function or a block but are available for us to use from anywhere again we will speak about scope in just a moment but just to show you guys what i mean by uh, globally scoped variables inside the window object i'm just going to get rid of this and go underneath the comment here and i'm just going to create another variable with a var keyword and we're just going to use the car name again and we're going to give it the value of ferrari and then what i'm going to do is just log in the window object now this variable here is globally scoped and because we're using a var keyword it actually gets added to the window object so if I open up the window object here, this variable is now in the window object, as you can see here. But again, this is another difference that let and const have with var. So if I try and change this to a let, and we look in the window object again, you see it's no longer there. And then the exact same thing will be for const. And again, I'll open up the window object, and this variable now is no longer in the uh, window object. So those are just some of the differences between var, let and const that we saw in the slide. And as you can probably make out some of the flaws with using var, so the ability to actually read a variable isn't really a good thing. This is only going to really lead to error prone code. Now, aside from redeclaring and reassigning, one of the main differences and really the main issue with the var keyword is scope. Now scope essentially refers to when our code variables are available for us to use. And as we just learned, all of the keywords can be globally scoped, which basically means they're just available for anywhere for us to use in the program. But as we saw in the slides, var is function scope and the let and const keywords are block scope. So to show you guys the difference here and what it means, let's dive into VS Code. So we're inside VS Code here, and as you can see, we've got a variable for person with a value of John. And then we've also got a function which has a variable of car, uh, which has the value of Ferrari. Now, if I try and log in the variable of person in here, you'll see we will get the output of John, which is its value. And the reason we're able to access this is because this variable here is in the global scope. Now let's try and log in the uh, variable here of car. And as you can see, it's given us an error saying that car is not defined. That's because the var variable in here is inside the function, meaning it's function scope and it's only available to us now inside of this function. Hence why we're getting the error here. Now, as we saw in the slides, letting const are block scoped. And what block scope is, is basically a chunk of code bounded by curly braces. So anything within these curly braces is a block. So we have a really basic if statement here and we have three variables. So we have the var keyword, the let keyword and the const keyword. And we've all declared and assigned a value to them. And then we've all logged them in inside of the block. And as you can see, it's not throwing us any errors. That's because we're trying to access them inside of the block. Now let's try and access them outside of the block and see what it gives us. So first we'll um, try the var keyword and this has a name of car. And as you can see, we're able to access it and it's not throwing us any errors. Now let's try access the let keyword. So this has a name of animal. And as you can see, it's thrown us an error and it's saying animal is not defined. And again, the reason of this is because we're trying to access it outside of the block. And as we saw in the slides, the let keyword is block scope, meaning we can only access it inside of the block scope, which is inside of this if statement here. And then let's try the const keyword. Again, this is throwing us an error saying person is not, not defined because we're trying to access this variable outside of the block scope. And as we know from the slides again, let and const are block scoped. And understand this about scope, we further see the issues with the var keyword. Because let and const are block scope, this means anything that you try to do with little const variables can only be used within the block of code where you initially wrote it. And it's generally advisable to avoid using var because function scope 
isn't actually as obvious as block scope which we will see later on in this crash course so from seeing the differences between the keywords it certainly seems that the intention of letting const is to replace var since they do encourage better coding practices and if you guys are wondering which one to use generally if you need to create a variable use const because it can't be redeclared or reassigned however if you know or you think that you'll need to reassign it for a switch statement or for for loops use let so just to end the video guys, here's a cheat sheet regarding the three keywords. If you guys like to screenshot this and have it at hand whenever you're using the variables. And lastly guys, if you enjoyed the content, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.